Hey folks, let's get started with Puppet Mozzie development in under 10 minutes. Since that's not a long time, we'll dive right in. First, we'll download the PDK from our webpage, um, which, ha which has packages for all supported operating systems. I'm running here on Debian, so that's what I grab, but there are also packages for uh, Ubuntu, Red Hat, SUSE, uh, Microsoft Windows, and OS X. Uh, especially for the last tools, you might be happy to hear that we are also supporting um, uh, Homebrew and Chocolaty, so you can install them uh, uh, straight from those systems if you have them in use. And uh, all our native repositories uh, also contain uh, PDK packages. So that's the download done. Uh, so sudo dpackage install. Uh, that pack that download um, the package contains uh, all the tools necessary to do uh, puppet module development and uh, run tests against your modules that includes uh, supported versions of puppet rspec puppet um, uh, several rubies uh, for the different versions that we support uh, to start with a new module which is the easiest part imaginable um, just uh, run pdk new module uh, with a module name. The first question here is for your Forge username if you want to upload it later to the Forge and open sources, which would of course be very awesome. Um, you can just skip that question if you don't care. Uh, a author for uh, traceability purposes and, and copyright assignment. And finally, uh, a open source license uh, that you want to use for your module. Uh, if you're writing a module just for your company, use proprietary um, to mark the module as, as something belonging solely to the company creating it. Um, finally, the first question here is the operating system supported and we'll start out with just uh, the common Linux systems here um, and recreate the module and there it is. To edit the new module, I'm using the excellent uh, Puppet plugin for Visual Studio, uh, done by James Progren and his uh, colleagues over at the uh, Windows team. Uh, let's install that from the marketplace here with two clicks. The only thing we currently need to fix is in the install, in the settings, uh, change the install type from agent um, to PDK. Now that the uh, plugin also supports that, um, and we can go uh, look at our module, which is currently quite empty, there are no files, no manifests, uh, because it was just created. Um, running um, a puppet pdk, pdk new class, um, to create a new class, we'll keep it simple and just call it ntp. Uh, it runs, it creates the init pp with some doc commands and an empty class, and it creates the initial files, the initial unit tests um, that on each supported OS that was selected previously, um, it is expected that the NTP class is uh, compiling. Um, I'll add a quick test here that it contain, it's expected to contain a service called NTP, save and uh, PDK test uh, unit. Uh, we'll run the command uh, using the currently uh, latest, as of time of this recording, the current latest Puppet version with Puppet 5.5.3 and on the appropriate Ruby version that is usually shipped with that version of the Puppet agent um, and uh, as we expected um, or as can be expected uh, the service NTP resource is not available on any of the um, supported uh, operating systems of this module um, so we need to go in here and using the autocomplete uh, we can add the service here NTP uh, also nifty is uh, hovering over it uh, brings you up the documentation for this property so here you can say uh, it needs to be running and not present uh, and we need to say enable true save that and we can go back to the console here run the tests again and hopefully see them pass. Uh, while the unit tests are running, uh, I can also talk a little bit about uh, validation. 
in starting out like this, that's not much of an issue. But on a bigger project where many people are contributing, having a sound uh, coding style uh, is always very helpful. And PDK Validate can uh, be used to enforce that and also to reformat your code uh, to match that uh, style. Uh, meanwhile, the tests have finished. As you can see here, all the 12 tests, um, that is uh, two here uh, for each of the six supported operating systems, have passed in a couple of seconds. And uh, we can rest assured that nobody deletes that service um, without us noticing. That's all in dandy for creating new classes um, and new modules. But if you have uh, existing modules, uh, the PDK also provides you with uh, some support uh, to get you going in that regard. Uh, I'll show that on the Puppet Labs NTP module, which I always like to uh, use as an example. Um, and fetch that here. Be before I open that in, in code, uh, let's have a quick look in here. Uh, this is already converted to the PDK thanks to the uh, tireless work of the supported modules team and I'll just uh, dial that back to uh, a version that was not converted yet so we'll get the uh, 5.0 version give it a name um, and from here on I, I can show you that um, PDK test unit would currently complain that it's not PDK compatible and points to PDK convert to make it so and just running PDK convert will take uh, the module that you have, apply the PDK's templates and infrastructure. Uh, as you can see here, um, there are a number of files added uh, and a number of files modified. Um, there is also a convert report text that you can look at if you want to see the details. In my case, since this module is coming from Git, I can just apply those changes and with uh, git diff have also a nice overview of what's changing here. Now that the module is converted, I can run a uh, PDK test unit uh, and uh, see if there are any outstanding issues from the, from the modification um, and work away on those. Uh, I'll not wait until the unit tests pass because the NTP module has quite a few, um, but also to show you uh, this has been running on Puppet 4.10 and uh, very easily I can also say um, test Puppet version 5.5 uh, and it will run the same unit tests against the newer Puppet version and so especially in migration scenarios uh, I can run those tests, uh, both those tests to be sure that uh, my module works on both versions of Puppet. Um, I When I said in under 10 minutes I meant it so uh, we are now at the end of this and you have all the knowledge that you need to get productive with the, with the PDK and hopefully never have to install Ruby manually again. And I wish you all the best and uh, see you around. Bye.